Hey guys, what's up? This is Matthew Davis Media once again. Welcome back to another movie review, AK after I saw. I saw two films, um, A Quiet Place and Isle of Dogs, finally. Um, yeah, I know my hair is all messed up, but uh, um, tomorrow hopefully I'll be getting a haircut. But anyways, uh, let's get into it. So I'm starting off with A Quiet Place, so yeah. Alright, so, so A Quiet Place involves around this family who are in a world where pretty much everybody is dead. Well, kinda, and basically, it's not so much of an apocalyptic world, but everybody has to be quiet. Otherwise, there are these very creepy creatures that can that can't see but can hear you. And if you make a single loud noise, they will find you and they will kill you. And the family communicate uh, with a sign language, and. They master it pretty well, like they know how to sign and stuff, and they try to make it out, and um, will not make it out because there's no place to make to make out. They pretty much go through different direction, th different th directions, and houses and stuff to find a safe spot. Um, this film stars Emily Blunt and John Krasinski, who directed this film, and he's known for some comedy, I believe. Like I think he directed one comedy film. And, uh, pretty much like Jordan Peele, who knocked it out of the park with Get Out, this film was really surprising. I had a great time with this. This is a really tense film that I think both critics and audiences are really going to enjoy. I mean, critics are, are eating up this movie. Critics are praising it. So many of them are. And audiences are really enjoying it, too. Like, this was a really tense movie. For PG-13... It's kind of close. There were scenes where I thought this could have been R-rated, but I think um, it was PG-13, so more people could see it. And I don't really find that to be a problem because they are they do get a, away with some stuff. Like this is a very tense film. Now, what I was worried about is there might be just jump scares throughout, but no. I mean, there are a couple. It's like one false jump scare, but. It isn't really a problem. I mean, at least it wasn't some guy coming into the room and just scaring you. But no. I was actually surprised because there was like 50% talking, 50% signing, which uh, was actually pretty cool. Uh, let me talk about the performances. Emily Blunt and John Trzynski and the kids in the movie do a phenomenal job. They, you know, they're, they aren't idiot characters. I mean, one of them does a pretty stupid thing, but... Uh, that's, like, the only stupid thing I can find in the film, but, uh, and it's not really an issue, no spoilers, but, uh, the opening really got me, like, I knew I was in for something as soon as the opening sequence happens, and, um, pretty much, f for them to not make noise, they use specific items, like, they don't wear shoes, they're completely barefoot, and they walk on sand, they use sand to walk on, for paths to get to certain places and they use like really soft cushiony things for Monopoly and um yeah it's just it was a really tense experience and the pacing I was really surprised of how well the movie was paced it has very well pacing and there doesn't feel like there's a dull mo moment and for those out there who aren't thrilled when they don't see enough of the creature. There's plenty of creature to be holding this movie because the creature in this is very intense looking like. I was like, they should have just made this R-rated because, oh my god, the creature is one of the most creepy and downright insane creatures I've ever seen in a horror film. And it's pretty well CG'd, believe it or not. Um... Like, uh, other than those jump scare things, um, my only main issue was kind of how the movie ended, no spoilers, but, uh, I was all like, did you really have to end it like that? Like, uh, but, uh, yeah, that's pretty much, like, my main issue with the film, but other than that, this was a solid, damn right, entertaining horror film. Characters were truly likable, and they do have heart to them, like, they want to keep each other safe, and they do everything they can. John Krasinski and Emily Blunt are amazing in this film. 
They're both really likable, and overall, I think you'll have a great time. I'm glad it's doing pretty well so far. Last night, it made $4.3 million on opening night. And now they're saying it could do forty to fifty million, so um, it might take the top spot for the box office this weekend, and I could say it truly deserves it. So yeah, I'm gonna give A Quiet Place a four and a half out of five. Definitely go see this one. I'm glad it didn't disappoint. It truly lived up to the hype. Go see it. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for my after I saw video on Isle of Dogs, and I'll see you guys later. Word out.